Tuesday, I woke up with such a horrible headache and horrible shoulder pain. I couldn't, I just woke up, like I told you, I get up around 11-ish. Like I told you last week, I have a hard time getting up. Well, I woke up at 8, so that's a three hours early. There are times when I really want to get up earlier, like let's say 9, and I don't get up before 9 anymore. I haven't done that in, after I stopped homeschooling, <laughs> but that was my normal time to get up, it's 9 o'clock. And now it's normal for me to get up at 11, and... Um, and I already explained that last week uh, between the hand injury and between the eloquence. Um, you know, it, it's blood thinners make you fatigued. That's one of the side effects. But it's necessary for you not to have a heart attack or a stroke, at least for me. And um, horrible headache, horrible throbbing shoulder pain. I was up at 8, and I said, you know, maybe I'll just sit on the sofa and rest until noon and because I had chosen Tuesday to be the day that I did that one more thing I wanted to do that I was talking about uh, with the hand injury and um, what I wound up uh, doing was um, I have been one of the things that has really discouraged me was with my hand injury is is that I love to crochet and I haven't been able to really crochet for like two years. Um, when COVID hit, you know, people had to stay home. I was crocheting up a storm using all of my stash and even started buying more, you know, yarn. And uh, depending on the colors you want, depending on where you buy it from, uh, you know, it, it, it could get pretty expensive buying yarn. So, you know, I had all these plans in my head. I was finishing blankets in two months. I could finish a scarf in probably a day or two. Um, and then the hand injury happened, and I couldn't, for six months, I was in horrendous pain. And I tried to get back into a shame, but my, my hand, left hand was so weak. And my right hand has arthritis. I would take naproxen, and I'd be fine. But then with... with uh, the injury that wasn't working um, even it took about six months for me to be able to even use my hands without excruciating pain but it was so weak you know and I tried to get back into crocheting it was very painful not to be able to crochet emotionally and um, so I kind of was discouraged and I kind of had to put down projects and throughout the last two years I've been trying like last year I tried to pick it up again and I became so discouraged because I couldn't remember what hooks I used. I was using the wrong hooks. I wasn't able to finish my project and I got so frustrated, I just threw it down. And I said, this year I'm gonna try again. And you know, again, my hand is weak. It never fully healed. Um, you know, and, and other issues had arisen, which I'll talk about another time. And that Tuesday, I was like, this is the day I do this last thing that I need to do. But because of waking up so early in horrible pain, naproxen wasn't cover, ha uh, hacking it, I had to take over-the-counter stuff, um, and I sat there and I said, you know, I couldn't finish a project because I couldn't get the right hook. And then I realized, wait, I've got like four projects here, it might be hiding inside the yarn. Those of you that crochet know, Sometimes we'll put an, a hook inside the yarn and it gets lost in there. So I started unraveling it and turning it into balls because I had taken all, all that pain meds. I was able to do that. It took me all day because one of the yarns was completely tangled. And I love untangling. I love untangling. At first I was feeling guilty. I said, well, I'll, I'll just start you know, my day at noon but I started just feeling so good emotionally, feeling so good emotionally, and I was just so happy as I'm untangling this yarn. It took me all day. Um, and I just sat there, I finished um, Lock and Key season two because uh, sometimes I get lost when the new season comes up. So I watched the last two episodes of that. Um, it's taken me forever to finish Star Trek Discovery, so I was, watching the rest of season three. Um, 
just random movies that I have on my list that I don't really watch. Uh, some it's just you know I just didn't get around to seeing it, and um, I picked so I f watch a couple of movies, and when I finally finished that unraveling that that tangled yarn, if I took me all day, but it felt so good. I said, let me do the next one, see if the hooks in there. That one only took like an hour or two. I mean, it's a one pound pounder. Um, didn't find the hook. So I reached in to get another one pounder and I took out an old project from before COVID and that's where the hook was that I wanted. I wanted to finish my granny square blanket. I, I want to make a pastel granny square blanket with a light pastel gray uh, for the borders. And I finally, finally found that I was so happy because now I can work on the granny squares. And granny squares is going to be easier on me. I have, I've, I just finished the scarf I've been working on for a whole year because my hand gets tired. I have to put it down. I'll get to it like maybe five days later. I can only do maybe two or three rows at, at a time because, you know, my hand is weak and arthritis in this hand is getting worse since I can't take anything. Um, but it just, I was just feeling so happy for the first time in a really really long time and it's not that I'm unhappy because I'm very content with my life I mean yeah I have problems everybody has problems but I haven't felt that satisfying happiness in a very long time so I, I at first I felt guilty that I didn't do that one thing but it's it's been being held off for like two months at least so it could wait another week or two next week I got to clean my brushes I have to wash my clothes that's an all day project because I can't put in the dryer. I got to lay them out. Um, I want to fit. I have to do my pills. This is what, because I sleep so late. Um, it's, I have to have one day for my pills, which used to take me half an hour and now takes me two. Um, and I have to do, it's one day for my video. If I wake up late, I, I can't edit it till the next day. So sometimes it's two days for me to work on a video and then edit it and, and upload and all that. So, but, you know, I only really have like two days a week to take care of phone call business and paperwork. And I might have doctor's appointments. I haven't done my pills. So I'm, next, next week I got to get my pills done. I got to clean these brushes. Um, and um, I got to wash my clothes. So if I don't get to it this upcoming week, It'll be the following week, but you know, I, I set that day to do it, and instead, I just had like me fulfilling time, and it was great. <laughs> so, and I'm glad I did that because I went to like what, three dollar stores, and by by the last one, I was in so much pain again. So, <coughs> so anyway, um. Yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. Check out your Dollar Trees for these new random palettes. No names, no sequential numbers. It's just random, and my stores seem to mostly have only gotten the neutrals. So, anyway, don't forget to check out your Dollar Tree. See you next week with another sugar pill or an LA Color uh, tea. <laughs> uh collection and yeah so see you guys next week Mwah.